Hi, I'm Tommy, and we're back with the answers for Episode 7. Category A was Architecture. Now, the picture I showed was the Darwin D. Martin House, which is the work of Frank Lloyd Wright, who was an early 20th century architect. Question 2, the audio you heard was uh, the elderly architect, uh, Philip Johnson, who died at the age of 98 in 2005. And he uh, left a legacy of um, a very unusual model for the Cathedral of Hope in Dallas, Texas. Category B is movies. Now, uh, number three, the, uh, the DVD cover that I showed you was The Black Cauldron from Disney. Number four, Boo, I say, Boo, if you didn't know, that was The Princess Bride from 1988. Category C was political systems. Now, the capital A with the circle around it is the symbol for anarchy. Number six, the political system described in the audio with the 14 characteristics was fascism, according to Umberto Eco in 1995. Adam Bryan's bar is reputed to have developed the hurricane mixed drink as uh, to use a surplus of rum, and they used uh, the distinctive hurricane lamp-shaped glass. The 1947 film in uh, number eight was the movie New Orleans. Now you should have been able to pick out Billie Holiday as the lead vocals, but did you also get Louis Armstrong on the trumpet? Category E was American history. Now, number nine, I showed you a picture of Ellis Island, and that was the famous immigration entry point into the United States for more than 60 years. Number ten, the speech I played was from the 1952 Richard Nixon speech, and that is most commonly called the Checkers speech, which is uh, referring to a Cocker Spaniel puppy that was given to the Nixon family by traveling Texas salesman Lou Carroll. Hi, and welcome to Smarter Than the Average Bear, number eight. I'm your host, Tommy Howell, and today, category A is music. Now, what uh, musical notation is shown here? Now, bonus points if you can identify the melody. Completely the opposite end of the spectrum, what musical instrument is heard in this clip? Bonus points if you can tell me uh, a defining characteristic that makes it unique among musical instruments. Category B is movies, 90s movies to be specific. So what 1990s movie uh, with a twist ending is shown here? And question four, what 1990s movie is heard in this audio clip? Yeah, Shep Proudfoot said. Shep said he'd be here at 7.30, what gives, man? Shep said 8.30. We've been sitting here an hour. He's peed three times already. Oh, I'm sure sorry, Shep told me 8.30. It was a mix-up, I guess. You got the car? Yeah, you bet. It's out in the lot there. Brand new burnt umber Sierra. Category C is nursing. Now, question number five. Why has this iconic component of the nurse's uniform fallen out of favor in the last 20 years? Question six. Before nursing was the highly skilled medical profession it is today, the term nurse generally referred to the care of children. I need you to explain to me the difference between wet nurse and dry nurse. D is makeup or cosmetics. So, what cosmetics tool is shown here? Eight, what biblical character was one of the first recorded instances of a woman wearing makeup? Languages, and what languages alphabet is shown here? What ancient language is heard in this clip? Om Shri Paramatmane Namaha At Shri Mad Bhagavad Gita अष्टादशो अध्याय प्रधान विषय इस अध्याय के एक से बारह श्लोक तक त्याग का विषय तेरह से अठारह श्लोक तक कर्मों के होने में संक सिद्धांत का कथन उन्नीस से चालीस श्लोक तक If you think you know more than five of the answers, be sure and post a comment or a video response to this episode of Smarter Than the Average Bear. They'll be screened until I give the answers next week, so you won't be spoiling anybody else's chance at answering. I'm Tommy Howell, and you've got all week to prove to me that you're smarter than the average bear.